Hey everybody, um, it's, uh, 1.44 afternoon, um, March 17th, it's St. Patrick's Day, um, on lockdown. I'm waiting to post this video till after everything happens. Um, I don't want to jinx myself and I don't want to tempt the matrix but I'm moving to Australia and um, it, coronavirus is messing everything up obviously and it's all like the computer trying to sabotage me. They tried it with the Australian fires. Now it's the coronavirus. <sighs> so I'm supposed I'm putting Sammy, my cat, on a plane and shipping him to Australia on the twenty fourth, almost a week from now. And so far he can still go. I don't fly till Australia, I don't leave until April 2nd, and then now there's a 14-day quarantine on international travelers, um, so Joshua is flying from Toowoomba to Melbourne and meeting me on the 2nd, and now he will pick up Sammy from quarantine. Um, and the plan was we were going to get a camper van. Well, I already rented it, a camper van, and drive up the coast with Sammy back up to Toowoomba. But now I don't know if I can get my camper van if I'm supposed to be under quarantine. But hopefully the people who rented the camper van don't know that I just came off of a plane. But... A lot of moving parts. Oh, and also I'm shipping some of my things in or, you know, to Australia. And I don't have a lot of money. So I'm getting a pallet. And then I pack it. 72 inches high. It's like a 40 by 45 pallet. And then I pack it 72 inches high and wrap it with plastic wrap. I have to do the, all this myself. And then they come pick it up. Well, I'm supposed to be moving out of my place on um, the 29th. The pallet was supposed to be, it was shipped UPS. It was supposed to arrive yesterday. Lockdown went down on yesterday. Everybody's freaking out. Um... And so my pallet never showed up. It was supposed to come yesterday. I called the place. They said it's been lost in the mail. So um, a new pallet's being shipped out. So I don't know if I'll be able to get that shipped out in time. I'm supposed to move out on the 29th. I want the pallet to be picked up on the 27th. Um, and I'm flying out of SFO. Sammy's also flying out of SFO, San Francisco. And they've had even a stronger lockdown now today. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> I've asked Josh to stop. Well, I asked him to stop posting like tempting videos. But he just stopped posting videos altogether. Until we're together. Which we are already together. It's already happened. Um, so I'm not deviating from that, and there's a lot of strategies I'm into implementing and calling out, um, during my travels, but it's getting really hard, um, if I can't move, I don't think my landlord can evict me. I don't know what's going to happen because nobody's going to be able to pay their bills eventually. Oh, and because the Matrix is, um, you know, following, 
trying to be involved in my life. It's all about my corona right now, my crown, that tooth I had the root canal on. I have a temporary crown on it right now. And um, the I only have dental and, uh, you know, I need to get all my stuff done before I leave to Australia. And the crown that, that was made, I didn't like it. It didn't have the point on it, like the canine point. And my old tooth had the point on it, so I want the point. So he ordered a new crown and it's supposed to come in um, tomorrow. They called me yesterday and they're like, oh, we're closing the dental office for two weeks and your crown will be ready tomorrow. Um, but the dentist will come in just for you and open the office to put the crown on because he knows you're leaving for Australia. So I'm like, thank you. But yeah, every, like all dental, like everything's closed. Everything's, I had to get out of the house because I just, it's actually a really beautiful day, but very odd um, lighting. So yeah, shit going down. And it's all culminating when I wanted to leave and I knew this was going to happen. But is there anything else? Yeah, so I'm still going to go. Still moving, still need to sell my car. Hopefully there'll still be people around to buy it in a week, but who knows? It's the zombie apocalypse. So we're just waiting for the zombies to come out. I just want to get on a plane. Like all I need, all I need is Sammy to get on a plane and then I need to get on a plane. And once I'm there, we're good. Um, I don't really care too much about my stuff, but so I thought, like, I went to the grocery store Sunday, and, like, the place I'm living right now in Central California is very, like, a lot of Mexican people, and at first I was like, well, Mexicans don't really prep that much, and you need a lot of, like, disposable income up front to buy a lot of stuff to prep, so, but then I went to the grocery store, and I was like, oh, no. I'm wrong. All the potatoes are gone. All the pasta's gone. All the toilet paper's gone. All the water was gone. That was kind of a little freaky. All of the water was gone. So, yeah, I think that's what's next. They're going to shut off the water and the power. And... But I'm hoping everything will finish by the time I... of next week. Um, people are still driving around. Some people are still going to work. But it's very strange. Alright, well, as you can see, the stress is manifesting. I am, I do suffer from Morgellons. This is not acne, and I don't do meth. <laughs> um, this is Morgellons. I have, like, little fibers that come out, um... Anyways, so I'll get a new crown, my permanent crown tomorrow. Hopefully it looks pretty. Hopefully that will, like, release the spell of the CV. The Corona. The Karachi. By the time I've posted this, I will be in Australia. Bye.